Xinxiao, what's up everybody? All right, we are in the famous Japantown. As of late in the past week, there's quite a few people going viral in this area, particularly inside the red light area inside of Japantown. And what's the guy's, China Mac or something? I've not seen the videos, but they, uh, people have been talking about it in my streams and stuff. Also, uh, my homie Chris Travels was down here in a couple bars streaming and did really well. And people are kind of curious how one person was able to stream down here and another person wasn't able to film or stream down here. I've talked about this stuff before, but this is a major, uh, which one here? This one. This is where all the super, super high-end girls are. Like, to my knowledge, this is like where the Koreans and the Japanese go for like the Lin Cherry type girls. They're all wearing like prom dresses. So your red light area starts over here. Then you got a Elixir bar down here where we were streaming at the other night. It was really expensive. They had to get the machine for my Google Pay. Then you got Venus bar, where VV works. It's not a bad lady bar, it's an honest lady bar. They won't rip you off here. Elixir's expensive. So first things first with filming in Japantown, I have a camera directly on my forehead right now. I'm not trying to hide my camera. Uh, you can really only film during the day down those streets. Face my Red Bull. And I'll explain like why it's all the way it is. Like, uh, we're not gonna film these girls here. And why you don't want to film them or stream them without their knowledge or permission, if you're going to live in Saigon. There's a lot of YouTubers that have cut their cloth out of taking hidden camera footage, like using a camera I have on right now, and then like trying to, not trying, but hiddenly filming all these girls, because, I mean, these girls are super hot, dude. I'm not going to walk by because I know they'll probably walk out. They all know me. You can probably see them off to the left if I do widescreen, but... These chicks are solid H nines and tens, you know. But they're they're telling their mom and dad back home that they're working at a bar or a restaurant. They're not telling them that they're you know having sex with guys every day. So, would you want to be on camera or somebody stream? Do, think about it. Would that be fun for you if you were in her situation? Now I know you're like they're on a public street and stuff here. It's a little bit more fair game. Well, honest. Like, this is a public road. And technically, so is Japantown, but once you go inside and once it becomes nighttime, it becomes a difference. It really shifts into a red light. I'll explain as we get into it. But pretty much, in my opinion, anything that's out here is okay to film. Just. Don't film the massage girls, especially if you want to go use the massage services. You know, they all know who I am. Anybody that lives here, they know. Uh, all the girls at these places know who I am. Not because I use the services, but because I don't film them. And they see me streaming and filming, and they know I don't try to uh, farm content. Some of the girls even follow my YouTube streams or my kick streams. I kid you not. So there's a time and a place to do it. And the majority of the time, oh, this chicken and silk. During the day, you're gonna be okay. Like any of these, you can film. These are all standard massages. I don't know, maybe this chick will help you out to finish, but I'm not a big into the monger stuff. We have been, however, documenting what all this stuff costs. Like, you know, where you can go for the BJ Street, full service, like uh, sex areas. So if you are interested in that, that's all on Patreon. We just dropped two videos on there. With two areas that I guarantee you guys have never heard of to go to. So, at night, this is going to be bustling like you probably saw in the guy's video. I don't even need to look at the video to know that this was probably bustling for sure. This is Seven Bridges, Sushi Place, and then the working girls are going to be out here to the right. So... You're gonna get pressed normally if you come down here. We'll go left this way first, and then we'll come back around this way. But right there, like those massage girls, you don't wanna go stick the camera in their face. And like at night, there's gonna be a million bar girls doing the same thing 
as I just said, like this street's really popular right here. Let's go down this one. So I've had the most fun on this street. There's way more in-depth guides for Japantown on the Patreon as well. Not trying to sell it. You hear I don't talk about much anymore. But this area, every one of these, every feet is a bar. But imagine walking down here and, you know, the other thing is if you're famous and you get a lot of views down here, like the government doesn't want a video getting 2 million views down here flaunting, tell them, flaunting that they're doing uh, what they're doing down here, you know? A lot of these bars are harmless, but you know, technically it's not legal what the massage girls are doing, so. There's also a concern for the businesses that they don't want to be having the government come down and crack down. They do, like, people don't believe me when I say that, but I swear, there's a reason why these people get so pissed about cameras. And really the main thing isn't even what I was just saying, it's they don't want the police to come and to pay them more money. Like, I swear, that's probably Mama's on right there. I swear that's really what it is. <laughs> like, if somebody comes down here and gets virals and gets a bunch of views, and farms a bunch of clips and stuff down here then it's going to get the eyes of the government down here and they're going to come down here and be a little strict for a while you know they do it at Bentham Market when somebody's video blows up there Saigon Square sometimes they do it at random but there is a real factor to the to bringing you know more tea money essentially to the situation that they're trying to avoid but Japantown's the same as it has always been it's just gone up in price a hundred percent you know I don't go to any of this stuff anymore I don't have the money to sit down and spend you know I'd spend you'd easily spend a couple hundred bucks coming here but if you're a streamer and you want to come down here as a streamer let me see Make sure it's pointing down good go one more click down and if you want to come down here and stream my advice to you is hold your can't stream phone like you're not streaming like Chris did and walk to a bar most of the bar ladies, you can ask them if you can stream there, and if there's usually no Johns there, like if there's no clientele, she's going to let you stream there, even if there is. Like, I'm friends with about four or five bar owners down here that'll let me stream down here anytime. But, you know, I've tried to get away from consistently doing, like, going to lady bars and stuff. I mean, I'm married now and deep into marriage. It doesn't have the romance it once had uh, for me. So this place didn't pay their electric bill. So they must not be doing so hot. Little Japanese restaurant down here, but all these are lady bars. And half of these, if not more than half, will let you film. You just can't, at night, have your camera out and you can't have a live stream out, like in flaunting it in people's faces. Like you need to be respectful of that shit. But so many of these bars will let you stream inside of them. It's the same in pasture. You can walk around stream there. No one still might be like, no film. At the end of the day, if you're bringing money to the table, they'll let you come in and stream. Because a lot of these places are having no people come through whatsoever. Some are busy, but you know, you'll come down here on a Friday, Saturday night. I don't even need to look at the videos to know that that's probably what happened. You know, there's 200 girls out here. Mama-sans are gonna yell at you. You're gonna get the full nine yard treatment, you know? You're gonna get harassed. If you tried to walk down here, from, I don't know, 7 to 2 a.m. with any kind of camera out, they're gonna come at you. But during the day, you can come do this, and then you can start to meet some of the owners at the bar, form some kind of relationship, and then, to that same effect, come and then film or stream at their place. Like, back in the day, if you're a fan of the channel, we used to stream down here all the time, when the prices were affordable. There's probably still deals to be found. I give the guides on all this stuff, in the Patreon, so we're not going to dive deep into that. But to people that have been watching, like, I already missed the boat. I already got a lot of people watching my videos after the China Mac guy, but I want to explain it for new people coming to this now. This is Japantown Explained. These are Japanese uh, lady bars. They're not full service. Can you get full service? Sure. There's karaoke rooms up top where they'll usually make that happen. The main thing here, more so, is sitting down with hot chicks, talking with them, showing that you got a little bit of money. Mixed in here is the girls in the Aoi Eyes, which is full on, full service uh, services. And they're beautiful women from all over Vietnam, mainly from the Mekong. They switch them out on rotation, so. This is a great place to have fun. You just need to be super careful. Maybe get a tour guide down here. I'm thinking about firing the tours back up. 
you let me know in the comment section, but I'd set a price. I think I'd set it pretty high. We're gonna walk. If they see the camera, they'll alert other people, but we're not trying to film these girls. You never try to film these girls, dude. Or all you're gonna do is piss them off. Just walk by them. Like, we ain't trying to film nobody. Never try to film them. So we'll go by one more. Always be polite. And then even like turn your head, like turn your camera, like I ain't trying to film this chick, dude. She wants to just go to work. So that's why I turn my head. But we're gonna go out this exit. So I mean, there's a lot of good food here. A lot of good bars. There's, I don't even know how many izakayas. 20, 30, 40 at this point. A lot of these bars and clubs are gonna be pretty good too, to go to. They, they do require money. I've, I've gone over prices and stuff. We're not going to hammer down on that. As a streamer and a YouTuber, you can come down here. You just have to do it at the right time for, for that kind of stuff. Always be polite to the massage ladies. You never know if you'll need them for something. You know what I'm saying, boys? I hope this was informative for some people. I'm never trying to create uh, waves or wakes anywhere I go. So I'm not trying to piss anybody off. So I'll never really come down here and do like hidden camera content and stuff like that. Uh, or just like film chicks that don't want to be on camera. My, my whole thing is to provide stuff and not piss people off. Once you get to know these girls, they're just regular girls too, bro. Like, you have to think of it that way, man. Like, I get it, they're on the street and stuff. Like, that's their job, well, it's funny, it's good for content. But at the end of the day, you still have to look at it on their side and their perspective as well. All right, guys, I hope this was helpful for some of you. Stay frosty, we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching, peace out.